so hello everyone today your chapter will be about integers exercise 4b this is session 4 so i hope you have all did your homework and assignments so let's start the exercise in the previous class we already did question number one so we will start from question number two so here we are asked to find the values using a number line the first question is let me write the exercise exercise 4 B and it is question number 2 question number 2 number 1 1 is minus 5 plus 7 we have to use the number line to solve this first of all we will draw the number line this is the number line then here is point 0 first of all we have to find this value ok we have to find minus 5 value value of minus 5 the value of minus 5 will be in this side so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 after that this sign is there this means plus and plus means to the right we already know plus means to the right and minus means to the left so we have to go to the right side we are standing here now this is our point we have to go to this side so how many steps we will go to this side we will go seven steps so starting from here one two three four five six seven so at this point if this is zero this will be one and this will be two so this is the point so the, our result will be 2 so if I add this minus 5 plus 7 the result will be 2 ok now similarly next one the next one question number 2 question number Five plus minus nine. So if I draw a number line, this is a number line. Here is the value of zero. So first of all, we have to find this number. This number is plus five. So one, two, three, four, and five. This is five here this is 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 here then after that we are standing here so it is plus so we must go to right side but again after this plus we have seen there is a minus so we have to again change our direction so we have to go this side okay first of all there was a plus but we have to again change it the change our direction if we have a direction of we have to always if there are uh, two directions mm, right side and left side we have to always choose the left side we will always give the priority to left side if there is two signs right side and left side what we will choose we will always choose as left left side okay now this one is there so to the left side how many points we have to go we have to go nine points so one two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 so here it will be 1 here it will be 2 here it will be 3 here it will be 4 or oh, sorry minus here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so the result will be this one so if I add this 5 plus minus 9 the result is minus 4 ok now next one you can do it question number three 
आई गेस देन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज माइनस थ्री प्लस माइनस एट सो हियर इफ वी सी माइनस थ्री एंड प्लस माइनस एट सो हियर इफ वी सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ड्रॉ लाइन नंबर लाइन Here is the number line. So here is the number line. So this is the point. This is zero point. So first of all, we have to find this number. Minus three will be to this side. Okay. So minus one, minus two, and this is our minus three. So we are standing here. We are standing here. So now, this is minus three. So we have seen this sign plus. So we must go this side. But again, we have seen the minus sign. So we, of this pra two priority, which one we have to take? This one we will take, the left one. Okay. So we will go this side, this direction. Of two signs, plus and minus, we will always choose the left side sign. So now. Starting from here, we have to go eight points. So this is one point. This is two point. This is three point. This is four point. This is five point. This is six point. This is seven point. This is eight point. Okay. Here is the point. So this one will be minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten, and this will be minus eleven. So this one is our answer. So minus three plus minus eight is equal to minus eleven. This is the answer. Okay. So the next one. Next one is four. Oh, sorry, five. Five will be minus one. Plus minus two plus two. So this is pretty easy. Now this is the number line. We are standing here. This is the zero point. First of all, we have to find this number minus one. So if we do go to this direction, this is minus one. This is minus two, so we are here now. At this position, we are in. Then we have seen plus, so plus is this direction, and again we have seen a minus, so minus is this direction. Of these two direction, which one we will prefer? We will prefer this one, this direction, left direction. So from that, we have to go this two points. So starting from here, one, two. Okay. We went till here minus three. Now you are standing here. So if I rub this, now we are standing in this point. Okay. Now you are standing in uh, this point. After this point, we have done till here. This part we have done completed. Then we have seen this plus sign. So plus sign means this direction. Okay, and this direction, how many points we have to go? We have to go two points. So starting from here, this is one point, and this is two point. So we are again in at minus one. So your result is minus one. So minus one plus minus two plus two. The result will be minus one. Okay. This is question number five. Then question number six is your homework. I guess you can do it now. This is just same as this one. Now third one. Third one is we have to add without using the number line. I already gave you a set of formula. I guess this one 
प्लस माइनस यू रिमेंबर डेथ साइन साइन डू एन साइन सो प्लस प्लस डू प्लस साइन माइनस प्लस माइनस और माइनस प्लस डू माइनस साइन विल बी बिगर वन एन माइनस माइनस डू प्लस साइन विल बी ऑलवेज माइनस सो दिज आर द्री मेथड थ्री फॉर्मूलाज यू कैन यूज ओके यू हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्मूलाज एंड दिस इज जस्ट डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज विद ऑल दिस पार्ट दिस इज वन this is 2 and this is 3 just remember it like this this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 i will be saying which formula i am using just i will write 1 2 and 3 okay in the questions i will just use which formula i am using now i will just say 1 2 and 3 1 is this this all 2 is this one 3 is this one so now question number 3 Number one, minus eight and minus four. So what we have to do? We have to add them. Add means plus. Minus eight plus minus four. Now, when we open the bracket, this one has plus here, so plus minus will be minus eight, and here it is plus minus will be minus four. So now I I will use the second formula. The second formula is both the sign has minus. Oh sorry, the third formula. Here we will use the third formula. The third has both uh, both has minus. So this plus this will be twelve, but the result will be minus. So this is the answer, minus twelve. Then number two, five minus four. So here. Five plus minus four. So now here five. This is plus minus is minus four. After that five minus four is one. So this is the answer. Okay. Here we are using the two one second one. Okay. Now number three. Three is seventeen plus twenty-four. So here, first one has minus, second one has plus. So what we must do? We must do minus here. So if I subtract it, the result will be seven. And after that, the sign is the bigger one. The bigger one has plus. So it will be plus here. So it is this. It will be plus seven. The answer is plus seven. and what we are using we are using number sorry no number 3 number 2 then 4 4 is 0 minus 36 so 0 plus minus 36 so 0 plus minus is minus 36 after that minus 36 Okay this is the answer So I guess rest of the things you can do it it is not much of a problem i have so already shown you the different types so question number 9 now of three question number 9 minus 712 comma 2538 comma 712 okay so here first of all it is 712 plus 252 uh, 38 sorry 
plus 7 1 2 so here here this is let me first do this part this one is plus then this one is plus so we will just plus it so the result will be 8 9 10 then this one will be 3 4 5 then 5 12 1 3 3 2 5 sorry 3 2 5 0 then after this we have to just minus it uh, from this one this one for first is minus second one is plus so we will be using the th uh, second one sorry we will be using the second one the second one is we have to just minus it so if you minus it what will be the result okay this is the result and what will be the sign the sign will be the bigger one the bigger one is plus so this will be plus so you got the formula question number 12 question number 12 is minus 729 comma minus 7098 comma 729 comma minus 2 so here if we see minus 29 minus 7098 plus 729 minus 2 so first we will arrange this minus 2 here we will bring it to here this minus 2 so it will be minus 729 minus 7098 minus 2 plus 729 so here the first and the third formula the first and the third one can be used for many terms but the second one is limited for two second one limited for only two okay the th first and the third can be used for many so here are three terms we can just use the third one here we will use the third one minus 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 so what we have to do we have to just plus it and the result will be in minus so if we plus it what will be the answer this is sorry 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 I made a mistake here this will be 7 okay after that the result will be in minus and this one will be 729 so if I solve this now this one is in minus this one is in plus so here we will use the th uh, second one sorry here we will use the third one here we will use the second one so if I minus it it will be 0 it will be 0 then it will be 1 and it will be 7 so answer is 7 1 double 0 the result will be in minus why the bigger sign is minus ok so here it is after that Question number 4 Question number 4 is the uh, base of an iceberg is 72 meter below sea level the top is 10 kilometer above the base so this is a iceberg this is water this is the sea level if I say that is the sea level this is a sea ok here it is a iceberg and the iceberg keeps on like this it is downside also it is in the below side also so this is the iceberg and some part of it is above the water and some part of it is below the water the sea level I already said the sea level is zero point so whatever is above that above gives a positive sense so above part is always plus and this side will be minus 
so the base base means the below part the below part is 7 meter below the sea level so if i come from this side it will be minus 7 okay and the top is 10 kilometer above the base 10 kilometer above the base so from here starting from here till here it is 10 kilometer okay so now we don't know from this part what is the value of this one we don't know this part okay so this is x how the from how the sea level the tip of the iceberg okay so here it is So question number four so now if I ask you to find the height of something what do you do you uh, find the from the highest value you subtract the lowest value okay so here if I see this is the height of the iceberg this 10 this 10 is the height of the iceberg this 10 is the height of the iceberg this is the lowest point and this is the highest point we don't know the highest point so what we will do is we will subtract this one with this one this is the highest value the highest value with the lowest value we will subtract it whatever we get we will solve it with this one okay so let us take the let the not height sorry let the top b at x meter okay let the top be at x meter now so it is 7 kilometer below the sea level okay so now if we subtract this uh, subtract minus 7 from this part what we will get you know that from the here to here it is minus 7 or here from here to here it is 7 ok and from here to here it is something number so this value is actually the from here to here the value is 10 so this value is 7 let me draw the figure properly this is the sea level from here to here we don't know we don't know the peak of this one but we know the peak of this part ok so now this is 0 from this part to this part it is 10 but from this part to this part it is 7 that is here it is minus 7 from the, starting from here to here it is 7 but it is below part so it is minus 7 so what I can do is I can plus this two part so it will give this one okay so value of x will be the top will be at 10 plus minus 7 meter above the ground so 10 plus minus 7 will be 10 minus 7 that is 3 meter above the ground 
if you have a problem with this one uh, just I will give you an example with for example if this is your weight sorry uh, this is the height of the tower this is the tower what am I drawing this is this is the tower okay till here starting from here till here it is 3 meter I say and this is the top is of 7 meter okay this point is 3 meter this point is 7 meter what is the gap of this to uh, from here to here it will be 4 meter so now you are given in the previous question you were given this part this 4 the distance between that point and the lowest point the upper point and the lower point ok you were given this part this minus uh, plus 4 and also you were given this number this number and this number the lowest point you were given so now you need to find the highest point so how can you find the highest point we just have to plus with this one with this one you can easily see we will get 7 by plusing 3 plus 4 so it will give what 7 or else what you can do is we have to find this part this is x ok you know this 4 this one is 3 so what actually we can do is x minus 3 is equal to 4 so x value will be 4 plus 3 how we got this one when we uh, when we subtract the highest value from the lowest value we get the height of that part ok this is how this one came this we know the lowest value we know the high, we don't know the highest value we know the height of from this part to this part that is 4 so we need to find the highest value so how can we find the highest value we can find the highest value in this way ok here you can see this is the point we know the lowest value we know the gap between that and we know the we don't know the highest value here we have to find the highest value so how can we find the highest value we can find the highest value by plusing this two part just like we did in the previous like just like we did in this example we have to plus it ok now question number 5 the following were the scores of red house round of uh, 5 rounds uh, of an inter house quiz competition so to find the total marks what you have to do we have to just plus it to find the total marks we have to uh, we have to just plus it the final score will be final score is equal to final score will be what final score will, will be we have to just plus it so if we plus it minus 10 plus 5 minus 4 minus 3 then plus 15 sorry this part let me write it here minus 10 minus 10 plus plus 5 ok then plus minus 4 plus minus 3 plus 15 ok it will plus plus 15 so now if I open the bracket here it will be 10 here it will be plus 5 here it will be minus 4 here it will be minus 3 and here it will be plus 15 ok now what we have to do we have to arrange the same signs here it has minus here it has minus here it has minus so we will arrange the minus first 
minus 10 minus 4 minus 3 here it will be plus 5 plus 15 okay so now we can use the formula 3 here we can use the formula 1 here here it will be 1 here it will be 3 so if we add all this it will be minus 17 here it will be plus 20 so first is minus second is plus so what we have to do we have to minus it minus after minusing the result will be 3 and the sign will be plus so it is plus 3 okay so we will be doing the next one from the next class so thank you everyone